We're now on Darewood Street, uh, which is behind Whitechapel. Well, it's just literally Whitechapel train station. Uh, behind the Blind Beggar. Um, Darewood Street, 133 years ago, was known as Bucks Row. And it was the uh, it was the first murder scene for um, Mary Ann Nichols, which she, her nickname was Polly. Her friends called her Polly. Mary was officially the first victim of Jack the Ripper. Uh, what can I say about her? She was described as a 44-year-old street prostitute. But she'd actually only been doing it for uh, for two months, so it was more like hardship. Um, on th the 31st of August, the night of a murder, she was living on Thall Street um, with three other prostitutes. She was a heavy drinker. Um, she returned to her, her lodgings and um, she was refused entry because she didn't have a DOS money. DOS money was uh, slang for sleep. So she went back out and said to um, said to the people, look, look what a jolly new bonnet I've got. Um, she obviously thought she could get a client. One hour later, she was seen by a friend, uh, rather drunk, walking along White, Strap White Chapel High Street, which is just behind all that. Um, she told people, actually, she'd had her money three times, but uh, she drank it. Um, a friend remembered her that she'd... Um, the, the bells of Christ Church on Spitalfield rang out about half past two. At half three, there was a guy called Charles Cross, so he was coming from down that way. He was going to work as a market porter, and as he entered Bucks Row, as it was then, it's now Derwood Street, he noticed like a bundle of clothing and a gateway. So that gateway, right, see that building was built in 1886, and uh, <clears throat> that that literally hasn't changed. So that, you know, if, it, if that could talk, seen the whole thing. Um, Charles Cross seen what he thought was rags and when he looked closely he had a closer look and he seen it was a body of Mary Ann Nichols. Now her body was found it would be exactly where the doorway there was that big silver thing that's exactly where the body was found um, she was lying on the road like on the pavement on the road half and half a skirt had been pulled up minutes later a policeman arrived Shined on her, realised obviously it was a horrific scene. Polly's throat had been cut from ear to ear. An attempt, it appeared, to cut off her head. Um, she was still warm. Blood was, you know, she'd, she'd been dead literally minutes. Uh, a doctor was called. Obviously, he said she was dead. Um, not the most difficult diagnosis, I imagine, but the poor woman had been gutted like a, like a fish. She was later identified by her husband um, and quite sad actually because when he, he had a look over her body he was heard saying to the words I forgive you as you are. So the woman, she hadn't, you know, in her legacy I suppose she's known as a, a sex worker but uh, she'd actually only been doing it for like two months from uh, from my research so she would be forever more remembered as uh, Mary Ann Nichols as Jack the Ripper's first ever victim. It is quite sad actually, a couple of years I used to come here and you, you could kind of get in and, you know, this is as close as you're gonna get. Um, but her body would have literally been exactly where that was there.